Hi everyone, my name is Arvalyn Hill and I'm the coordinator of family programs at the Everett's Children's Adventure Garden. Today I want to show you a cattail up close. So cattails are wetland plants. At the children's garden, we're lucky to have our garden located on a wetland. That's an environment that is surrounded by water. So I wanted to show you this plant up close because it has really cool adaptations that help it survive in a wet environment. And an adaptation is a feature on a plant or animal that allows it to survive in the environment that it is. So behind me, we have a wetland, a pond, and there are tons of cattails that are living and thriving in this pond. So I pulled one out and I wanted to show you up close some features and adaptations that allow this plant to survive in this environment. One adaptation is that cattails have a rhizome stem. That's an underground stem that grows horizontally underground. And this rhizome is can be home and food for different macro and invertebrates that live in the water, as well as ducks and other animals in the water too. Another really cool adaptation about cattails is that they have these really long, tall, narrow leaves. And if you feel them, they're waxy. And this allows this plant to survive in a wet environment, whether it's a stream or a pond, and it will be able to stand up straight and not be affected by being in water. And then another really cool thing is that cattails have different adaptations that allow them to uh, be homes for different macro invertebrates. And an invertebrate is an animal that doesn't have a backbone. And if you look right here, there is actually a leech, which is a type of invertebrate that is just hanging out right on the cattail and able to survive um, and live on this cattail. So next time you're out and you're by a wetland, water, pond, stream, look out for cattails, look closely. Um, and check them out because they're really cool plants that have adaptations that let them survive in a wet environment. Thank you for watching.